<clears throat> okay, here's part three of uh, Frodo's journey. So we're starting off in Bree, where uh, the hobbits would have had their breakfast and maybe gone out the back door. Let's see if this takes us out the back door. And into the yard of the Prancy, Prancing Pony Inn. There's a few horses there. And um, we can head out of Bree. So uh, we're now heading down uh, to leave Bree by the main gate to the south. And um, in the book, the Hobbits and Aragorn, after the attack of the Black Riders on Bree, decided to leave town um, openly along the road in an effort not to be followed and of course to uh, lead people to suspect they were going to follow the road the whole way. And then after having left the the areas of the of Bree that were occupied by people, uh, they cut across country. So we'll hopefully we'll get as far as the uh, the mountain. I'm on Sul, where uh, they encountered the nine black riders again. Now, we're just passing, I should show you Bill Fernie's house here, which is where uh, Bill Fernie lived and he was one of the spies of either Mordor or Saruman, possibly both. And then we head out the south gate of Bree. And we'll just have a quick look back at the town and we will have a look at the, let's get the interface off. We'll have a look over that way towards the Barrow Downs and then back towards the town of Bree. I have slowed down the panning in this. So let's continue. Now they head out of Bree and then uh, fairly soon after having got a good distance from the town, they start going over land. Now, uh, the, there's plenty of players around Bree. Bree's a very handy spot for players in the game. Uh, it's got good crafting, a uh, good auction hall. It's a great hub for practically everything in the game uh, as a skirmish camp. So if you're gonna play Lord, Lord of the Rings online, uh, you're going to come to Bree a lot. Pretty much all services are there. Which is great. Oh, there's a fox scared across the road by us. And as you can see, as we move around uh, the, the Middle Earth, uh, the creators of the game have... There's Bree in the distance now. The creators of the game have... Um, put lots of runes and ancient history into the scenery. Now, as we get out of sight of Bree, you'll see that if we turn back, we won't see much of Bree behind us. Uh, the Aragorn led the hobbits and Bill the Pony off into the Midgewater Marshes. So we're going to veer off the road here in order to lose themselves and get us uh, and make it very difficult for the black riders to follow. Black riders are on horse, so Aragorn decided to use the marshes to make it as difficult as possible for horses to follow. So we'll try and find a path across the marshes without getting too wet. As you can see, hobbits are a bit short, <laughs> get completely uh, 
swamped out by the grass and the scenery. But we're now making our way towards, and we can see in the distance, the hills of the Lomelands. And that up there is Amon Sul, which is what we're making for. We're just going to try to avoid getting wet. Might not be entirely possible. That's Amon Sul silhouetted against the uh, sky there. And of course in the Midgewater Marshes, which is what these are, uh, the the party was attacked by buzzing insects, which Sam called decided to christen Nickerbreakers or name Nickerbreakers. Let's go up here and we'll have a look around at the marsh if we can. Get on a height. And you can see the scenery from the game here. Looking around, there's Amon Sul, which we're heading for, and some other ruins in the marshes that you can go and have plenty of adventures in. And we're heading for a pass that leads up out of the marshes into the lone lands behind Amon Sul, away from the road. So the road is going along here. And of course, some people can travel by horse, even if it is the marshes in the game. So um, as you can see, the scenery is pretty spectacular in the game. And we're going to head up through this valley and get into the Lone Lands. This is a starter area for Lord of the Rings Online. So uh, <clears throat> the, and it's the free part of the game. So far we've only seen uh, the free parts of the game um, with the Shire and this is Breland. And the, now we're going to enter into the Lone Lands. Another, th this is an area you might come to once you've passed level 20 or so in the game. The, the game itself has at the moment, 130 levels to work on. And so there's plenty of uh, plenty of stuff to do and plenty of areas to explore. And we're coming up into the Lone Lands. From Breland. And you will see here Amon Sul now is in the distance. You can see the climb up to the top of the mountain. We'll try and get onto a height here, but if we look back, we now see how far we've come from the marshes. And there are different ways of going here, but we'll just continue as a wolf following this path. And so these are the secret paths that Aragorn would have known to avoid the Black Riders. And lots and lots of ancient ruins. Now we're starting to climb up towards the lower defences of Amonsul. Amonsul was an ancient fortress of the kings of Gondor. And there it is in the horizon just ahead of us. And that's where we're heading for. 
This ancient fortress uh, for the kings of Gondor was one of the places where they held a palantir. Now the palantir was the, the glass ball of seeing that the the princes of Gondor used to communicate with each other across Middle Earth. Getting hit by a lot of bushes here. It's rough country. Now we're going to start climbing up. Well, we're going to drop down to the water and cross the river. And then we'll start climbing up towards... Oh, hang on a second. Am I going the right way? I think we have to go this way. Here we go. Going to cross the river down here. You'll notice that none of these enemies, the wolves and the things, are attacking my character. And that's because this character is a high enough level to avoid the aggro from those creatures. When we get to the, towards the end of this journey, uh, that's not going to be the case at all, and we may have to fight our way through, particularly in Mordor. But we haven't got there yet. We still have to get to Rivendell. Which will hopefully be, well, Rivendell Trollshaws. So, there's a part of this journey that speeds up a little bit in the book because from here Frodo gets carried by horse into Rivendell. There's Amon Sul. We're going to go all the way up to there. So if we have a look at it, there's the fortress. And you can see that there's a path that runs all the way around the mountain and comes up into it. We'll follow that path. And we get a good view from the top, so we'll be able to go out and we'll have a look at the view. What we'll do is we'll join the path up here. Now this is a fairly early area in the game, at around 20th level you come here and start working your way through the Lone Lands content. Uh, there's a lot more to it than this, but the Epic game has a few quests that you follow to come and visit this part of the this part of Middle Earth. The Epic game follows pretty much the uh, the Epic quests follow the the movement of the Fellowship. If we can get on to the climb. I hope I haven't stuffed this up. Yeah, I seem to have missed. The way up, but you can climb all the way up here using. This path It's not quite as amazing, but let's a look and you can see the scenery from here looking back towards the Shire and back towards Breland which is all over there. But we'll go up we'll continue going up into Amon Sul and here's the fortress on the top. At Weather Top was the the common name for it of the time. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a spoiler for the game in a minute. Let's see, can we get up there? We can, and we can stand up on this rock, and we can have a look at the scenery from the top of Amon Sul. And so, you really do feel that you're in Middle Earth as you play this game. And we look straight down, and you can see the the path that comes around the mountain to come up to Amon Sul, various other questing areas in the distance, old fortifications. I'm going to show you a little spoiler for the game. If you don't want to see that little spoiler, you can switch off now. It's not that big a spoiler. You don't get any XP for it, but there's a dude around here. 
uh, somewhere. There he is. That you can collect. For, uh, my character's already collected him. Come across this guy. He does a bit of exploring in various parts. He's a sort of a Middle Earth camper, hiker, camper guy. And he goes all around. And you find him in different places. So anyway, uh, the hobbits were camping uh, on the slopes of Amon Sul. And then they had to retreat to the top of the mountain and they were attacked by the nine riders up here. And here's looking out towards uh, Rivendell, the direction towards Rivendell and the path that we have to follow into the troll shaws, which are going to be over here. All right. So in our next video, we will progress from Amon Sul weather top into the troll shows. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think you'd notice perhaps that I cut down the panning speed and stuff, so not making everybody quite so unwell. Let's go in for a first person view of this last view towards Rivendell and the east. And we look down. And that's the path we'll be following next time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like. Any suggestions for content that you might want to see in Middle Earth or little journeys that we can do, uh, pop them into the comments. Any suggestions for improving this, pop them into the comments. I mean, I know it's not very uh, exciting, but it's just an idea. Follow Frodo's journey all the way to Mount Doom. And that's a bit tricky maybe with this character. I have to get somebody up to level 130 to do that, I think. But we'll see how we go. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye.